Okay, we got this, uh, I think it's an 03 Chevy set up here for a fuel pump test. We got a, in the fuel, in the fuse box here, right next to the fuel pump relay, you'll see that there's a, a prime spot right there. And if we, uh, first we got our low amp probe, we got to set up to 20 amps on a 20 amp scale. We go down here to our lab scope. We're on a 20 second, 20 millisecond sweep time on a 20 amp scale. So we'll go and plug this in. This has been zeroed out here. So we're on an even scale. And we'll put that in there. Now we can see our amp, our fuel pump. This is a newer pump. She's pulling about between 8 and 10 amps. And we can see we got a nice even waveform, but if you want to get an even better waveform, what you do here is you go to setup. I don't know how much of this you can see. Traces. Go to trace one. We'll change this. We'll go to a five amp scale. Then we'll change the OK on that. We'll change this. We'll go to AC couple. And we can see now that our uh, get back here. Oh, I hit back again. That while we're not measuring amperage per se, we're look we can get a lot better look at what our actual what the brush to armature contact is looking like on our fuel pump. And you can see we're we have a nice steady steady scale here. Okay, and I also got hooked up over here. I got a I got the pressure transducer on the fuel line. So and I got that set up to channel 2. We'll disconnect this for a minute. Our pressure will bleed down. I found out when I was doing this that we actually have a bit of a problem here. You could probably hear the uh, all that fuel running through the fuel pressure regulator. So we'll go back to setup here. Traces. We'll go to trace 2. We'll set that to uh, 100 psi. We'll change this to 100 psi also. And we'll hit the display on that. It should be good over here. So we got that on now. We'll reconnect this. So our fuel pump is running here again. And we can see on the green line on the scope here, we got 50, just running a little over 50 psi. Which for a fuel pump, for a new fuel pump, this is not very good. We should be up over 60 here just running it without the engine running, with the fuel pump running. We should be over 60. So we got a problem here, and I'll show you what the problem is here in a minute. I'll disconnect the fuel pump. And we can see how fast our, our pressure is running down here. I'll back this up. Go to a... Uh, a little different screen here. Record that. And there we can see our fuel pressure line. I don't know where we're at here. Oh, we were running a pretty fast sweep time at 20, 20 milliseconds. But you could see there how fast our. Uh, I don't know, somehow we lost it. Let's go back to maximum. You can see how fast this is just over. Uh, about four seconds here how fast our our pressure dropped off we didn't get because we only had a 20 set 20 millisecond sweep time we didn't get a whole lot of record time so we're leaking fuel back to the tank way faster than what we should and that explains why our uh, our peak pressure was running only at about 50 pounds instead of 60 pounds I'm kind of suspecting we got a fuel pressure regulator that's leaking Internally, there doesn't seem to be any external leaks. Nothing's going in the vacuum hose. So, I'm going to do here and leave that disconnected. We got our relay in. Start this back up here. One thing you'll notice with this new 10.4 program here, if I go back to traces, I'll just turn off trace one. We'll go back to trace two. You notice we have a calibration button on here, which we didn't have before. So we'll uh, just recalibrate this in a second. And there, and we should be back to zero. We never had that. It would always re recalibrate every time you would change the range of the pressure transducer before with the 
old 10.2 program. This is 10.4 software that he got on here. Now, Tim is going to start this thing up here once and see the kind of pressure we got when we're actually running. It's got enough to run. see some fluctuations in our fuel pressure here and it does seem to be seem to be following a pattern. I'm not really that good on this to see if that's actually an injector flow pattern or not. It, should, it certainly isn't as even as you'd, you'd think it would be and it is definitely a pattern. You can see it repeating itself. So I guess if you want to do some more study on whether or not you could actually see if that was injector flow or not, or do it before and after, do an injection cleaning, and then check this pattern again, see if it changes it, changes it all. But see here, it stays pretty consistent. So I don't know if that's if that's a pattern related to the pump because our fuel pressure regulator isn't obviously isn't working right, or if that's actually uh, flow pattern from the uh, injectors themselves. So I guess that's about it. So if you wanted to, uh, again, if you want to get a better definition of uh, uh, what your waveform looks like from the fuel pump, I got them here in the presets. I set one up 20 amps by 20 milliseconds, and then the other preset I got set at, for this pump, I set it at like about 5 amp total total uh, amplitude and then again at about a 20 millisecond time sweep. So I guess that's about it.